Also, I like the um, fuck what was it again? No, I, I like the way Yajirobe was in Dragon Ball. He was fucking hilarious at times. Oh yeah, oh, he, yeah. it was. Well, yeah, well, yeah, Jir well, yeah, Jirobe was just meant for comedy, but yeah, he he was pretty cool. Far yeah. better than in the Dr Dragon Ball Z version, which made him out to be just a coward. I mean, I don't know. He's a he's not a coward. He's just he's just way beyond it. He's he's over his head. Because so. if you, if you can't compare Yajirobe between Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z, it's, it seems almost different characterization. Because in uh, Dragon I mean, Ball, if you, you... if you want if you want to call Yajirobe a if you want to call a coward, I mean yes, he's a I mean, I mean yeah, he's a jerk and all, but that, but that, but uh, but but there's really nothing he can do. I mean that's like putting Master Roshi. I mean, you know, you know, seeing if he would make any difference in, in, in um, while Tien was holding Cell back from getting Android eight, 18 absorb or anything. I mean, that's what, I mean, that's like having him get involved. What, what, what could he do? Nothing. Exactly. Wait. I mean, I'm just using that as an uh, example. But anyways. What the, what the fuck is this on my cell phone? <laughs> Re Re Resident Evil Retribution trailer. Fuck motherfucking bullshit. Get that. Get this Fuck trash the new Resident off my, Evil shit. Get get this trash off my cell phone. Oh, thank God, nothing like that has popped up on my iPhone. I mean, the the minute I I did a video on that, on the plot, of it, which was basically retarded, and people don't part, see, people seem to do not to not understand why why Anderson puts his wife in those in those movies, and I already know why, and I already know why he does it. Uh, Oh, Twitter. Well, I mean, oh, it's the same reason. It's the same reason. It's the same reason he pay, makes his money. He, ma he makes he makes his movies 3D. That that there's newer ones. It's because it, it's because it, it's because they they both bank on it. it uh, people don't seem to understand this. Anderson is now now now. Here's the thing. This was not the initial plan, but Anderson decided to cash in on Paul W. S. Anderson decided to cash in on this. When they both got got married, he had a choice that whether or not have afterlife be the final conclusion or not. However, however, when he decided how much money they both can make, it, uh, that top, that plus the James Cameron 3D uh, on top of that, they um, he could not refuse because he, he, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Anderson is married to Mila Jokovich, and. You know, Paul W. Sanderson. He's married to Mila Jokovich. And uh, Mila Jokovich is the star of the movie, while Paul, w. Paul W. S. Anderson directs the movie. When the, when their paycheck comes in, when their paycheck comes in, they both get a cut of a, a, a cut of the of the of the money of the money that comes in. And uh, do you know how and and and, and here and that's where the 3D comes in. I mean, okay, that goes along with the 3D. Do you know, no, do you know how much money m movies are being paid, you know, for 3D nowadays? Around a ticket, a ten dollar ticket price, give or take. <laughs> Fifteen dollars. Fifteen? Fucking Christ! I'm not, I'm not gonna sit there and see this piece of shit film. <laughs> I said the and exact same thing. It, it's <laughs> a, it, well, that's what I'm saying. It's all nothing more. Well, okay, okay, okay. Um, it you know skipping the fact that it's not it's not Resident Evil at all but uh, at all but the whole thing is just nothing more has turned into nothing more than a marketing scam now because uh, it's a it's a money grabber scam and everyone's just falling for it uh, as, well aside from the movies just being fucking crappy because I I I think I've I I've already pieced most of the trailer trailer t trailers together and I think I know what's going to happen. Hmm. Mm. Uh, they're they're gonna do a Matrix retcon on the entire series. Oh, kind of like people, people said Afterlife was so fucking worthless because nothing fucking happens. Well, guess what? Guess what? Yeah, um, I I just heard from rumors. Not only that, well, not just rumors, but I oh, but before the rumors came around, I pieced most of the uh, of the mo of the movie together, meaning that Alice is going to wake up. Well, you know, Alice is going to wake up. I know this is this is gonna happen. Do not doubt me. The movie in the movie, everyone in the ship's gonna be wiped out. 
you know, that, that all the survivors on the ship, everyone, they're going to be wiped out. And uh, Alice, well, she's going to wake up in this in this new future where every, uh, where this whole city is underground, this big gigantic city underground. And well, that's controlled by Wesker. No, the zombies are gnawing their way to get in because they can burrow now, and you know, you know, it, it's a it's a brand new apocalyptic set, setting. Why? Because Paul Davis Paul W. Anderson has admit, admitted it, it, he has admitted in interviews that he wrote himself into a corner when the hu, when the humani, when humanity humanity derived from a hundred or so people. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, uh, well, yeah, like, thanks a lot, Umbrella, you doomed mankind. So now, uh, Paul Demi Sanderson is going to wreck on his own fucking series by by pulling a Matrix. <laughs> yeah. Well, the movies have become... Me- meaning everyone you it, it, you saw died in the old movies, they're all back. Including, Le- including Leon, because guess what, uh... <laughs> Leon technically died before he met Alice, so guess what? He's he's gonna be in this movie too. That explains everything. He's gonna retcon it this whole entire series, and we're just gonna have to go with it because a wizard did it. Why? Huh? No, a wizard not did no, it. it it's, it's something confused Matthews does. He goes, "Why does this happen? A wizard did it." No, it's, <laughs> it's not a it's not a it's not a wizard. It's uh, I, I mean th- th- this joke th- that joke is not even implied now because it's just a gigantic fucking retcon. It's just it's it, it's not uh, uh, it's more it's more like why is this happening? Bullshit. That's why. Yeah, I got I got fucking pissed after the second. I got pissed after a uh, fucking afterlife because they start throwing in characters from the game out of nowhere. It's like, wait, what the hell is he doing in this now? They were pulling. They were throwing people from the games ever since Apocalypse. Yeah, to to, to make the fans happy. Uh, that did not make the fans happy. In fact, that yeah. pissed us off. Considering the fact that Alice's Alice's story cannot can, uh, cannot clash with the characters from the game. Considering the fact that they, well, well so many reasons actually. One, uh, uh, one, the, the movies are none can were non canon the first movie was was non canon to the game entirely and now you're going to make that make that make that canon to the games or i say that very loosely yeah, Consider- let me... considering the fact that the characters are are codependent uh, uh, co- codependent on this one fucking mary sue that that apparently exists to define this entire alternate universe as Paul W. Anderson describes I'm like alternate universe my fucking ass even alternate universes have fucking rules and this is not an alternate universe yeah I wouldn't put it past Paul Paul Anderson to try to worm in some little explanation so that he can continue the, the his franchise on further you know it, it, he doesn't give a shit. He'll just put, he'll just make another bullshit excuse. In fact, he already made another bullshit, uh, a good enough bullshit excuse to do it now. Because guess what? We're now open to a, n- a brand new apocalyptic future, which means guess what? We uh, we can still have another th- new three movies on the way. Oh god! Oh, oh, we, no. we, holy shit! That's awesome. No, so, it's not. It's fucking bullshit. Xam, what's your thoughts on um the new Silent Hill movie? I never knew there was a new one. They're making another one. I never, I've barely played Silent Hill. I've only played half of the first one. I never played the rest of them. I never played the rest of them. It's not that they, it's not that, it's not that I was scared of them. No, I I wasn't, it's not, I was not scared of them. I was just bored, I bored the fuck out of them. I never even played the Silent Hill games. Never appealed to me. I I get and um, I was just never into the Silent Hill experience. I guess. Well, the first movie was more of a comedy than a real horror film. It was actually funny as hell at times to watch. And um, the new one they're trying to make it based off of the Silent Hill three. So it, I'm not sure how it's gonna do. Could be well, good. Okay. Uh, well, all right, then I can already tell this is gonna suck considering the fact that. Okay, 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 okay. Th- does any of the games have a chronological story? Do they have a chronological story? Um, 
the first and third one. I I never I never finished the first one, but I know I beat the second and third one. Okay, okay. So if the if the third story is connected with the first story, then guess what? If they uh, then that then that then that means this movie is already gonna suck because they're not adapting the first story. Therefore, therefore it's gonna probably it's it's probably going to it's probably gonna carry over. These problems are gonna carry over and affect the third the, the movie that they're doing right now, mm. which will make so- it no fucking sense. Which is what we've been saying to everyone with Dragon Ball Evolution. The reason why it's bad that they would do a sequel to Dragon Ball Evolution is because the problems from Dragon Ball Evolution are going to carry over to the second film, and they're going to bastardize Dragon Ball Z. You see, that's how things work. They, um, you can't just you can't just start in the middle and just do and do the rest. Oh, they did it on Toonami. I was like, yeah, and it made no fucking sense. That's why some people didn't. That's why people didn't get into the fandom. Dumb shit. <laughs> Do, do the Silent Hill games even follow a, a connecting storyline? Like the, the second is the second game connect with the first game. Uh, third second game, game second? from what I heard, is not connected with the first game. The, it's connected with the third one, though. The first game is connected with the third one. Okay, so the first game, oh yeah, first game is no. connected with the third. Okay. I went no. I I've only played half of the first game. Anyways. Yep, and I'm st- yeah. and I'm still too busy laughing my ass off how many pissed off Naruto Narutars are still trying to justify that bullshit in the series. Oh, the the big are you talking about the big reveal? Yeah. Oh, you just gotta wait. It's not done yet. You just gotta be patient. Oh, fuck <laughs> you. There's no there's no way they're gonna he's gonna they're gonna be able to justify this shit any, anymore. How oh, but uh, one of the characters can travel through time. Oh, so you're gonna wreck on everything? That's that. That's just beautiful. <laughs> yeah. Besides, I... I don't, I, besides, I don't think Kishimoto's that fucking clever. He's not clever. He's not a good writer. He's just a fucking retcon, motherfucking bad writer, bullshit artist. According to, to the Wall Two Hundred, uh, he he caves into the fans a lot. I mean, he doesn't go by how he wants to take the series. He just, you know, if, if the fans say something, he'll he'll just go with that and and give in. Well, yeah, he's he's pure. He 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 works directly on fanboyism. He he takes his fr- franchise completely by fan fanboyism and fanboy and fangirlism, and and and, and where he takes it, uh, the, the the fans just love him for doing it because well. Yeah, he, he works for them and not, not for his plot because apparently his his fans are more important to his plot than 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 the, than the plot itself or what he originally planned because he's he's a dumbass. Uh, I'm st- I'm still lo- and I've I've heard really I've been hearing Naruto say really stupid shit recently. Like apparently. Naruto's- Naruto's always say stupid shit. What, well, what's new well, about that? Apparently yeah. now Naruto and, Sus- and Sasuke have the same fighting strength as Brawly. What? Uh, that's not surprising considering the fact they make shit up all the time about 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 fictional characters. They would always they, they would always overpower or underpower other characters just to make their characters a lot more power a lot more powerful than other fictional characters, even though everyone knows that's complete utter bullshit. Like for example, the, um, I I uh, I. I know a, I know a person that 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 directly said that Naruto can beat the 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 uh um trying to think of uh, try, uh, trying to think of what he said Naruto can beat eternity from the uh, from Marvel which etern, etern, eternity is is existence himself it's he's a he's a he's a he's a physical embodiment of existence. So why would Naruto want to beat eternity? <laughs> not to mention he's fucking not to mention he's fucking immortal. So why? So how can you beat an immortal? You can't. Or 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 the living tri- or or the beyonder or the or the living or the living tri- uh, tributal, which uh, which the I think. Uh, I think uh, if I'm saying it correctly, the living tri- uh, tributal. I think it's in here. I'm, uh, let me let me let me look up the name. Uh, looking up the comic right now. The name. Hang on a second. Do, do, 